A Miami Valley porch gargoyle is making quite the impact. Two News reporter Kelly King first introduced you to Frank in December. Well, that's after he went viral when a neighbor took issue with him. Well, Kelly now has the follow up and how he's been able to raise thousands of dollars for local organizations. She shows us what's working in the Miami Valley. The Miami Valley's best known gargoyle is heading back to class. That is a current fundraiser for crayons to classrooms. And he comes with a lesson for a certain someone. Without her, it, it wouldn't be what it is. Frank the gargoyle's claim to fame came around Christmas time. Denise Starr's neighbor, who she calls Karen, sent her a note complaining about Frank. She just wanted me to put Frank in the garage. He was out of sight because she thought he was unsightly and it wasn't in keeping with the Christmas spirit and festive. So Denise decked out Frank and the entire porch. Her display went viral on social media and people started donating to the Dayton Food Bank in Frank's name, raising $50,000 in a matter of days. I don't know that she necessarily appreciates the whole thing, but... You know, she's part of it. You know, she's part of the reason why it became so popular. To date, Frank has raised more than $330,000, and it's not just for the Dayton Food Bank, but for a variety of different charities. The Cincinnati Zoo is the funnest one for me. I had been in contact with a t-shirt company in Cincinnati, and they started putting out the t-shirts that raised money for the zoo, Cincinnati Zoo. To thank Denise, the zoo even gave her a baby Fiona statue to go along with Frank. Something else Karen doesn't like. She does not like hippos, though. No. Decorating for other holidays, Karen has managed to complain about other things. She complained a lot at Easter time. She had made a comment on a note that she hoped I'd get ants because I'd peeps out there. And despite those nasty notes, Denise wrote Karen a thank you. I found it ripped up in pieces back on the porch a few days later. And while that probably will be the last thank you Denise will send to her, she won't be stopping the displays anytime soon. We've got plans for the fall, so, you know, Halloween's going to be big, so, you know, because he's a gargoyle, that Halloween's kind of his jam. We can't wait, Denise. I'm sure Karen can't wait either. Kelly King, 2 News, working for you.